All right. You got it? Absolutely. All right. So, hey, it's me, John, from VacuumRepairShop.com, and today we are going to talk about one of our favorite canister vacuums, and that is, well, this one's called the Sevo E3. The Sevo E3 Onyx Premium is one of our favorites. There's actually three different Sevo canisters that we really like, but this is a sure way for me to get customers, because as soon as we start recording, listen, a customer comes in. What? Listen up. I think we got a customer front door so that means we're going to turn this off we're going to wait a little so you got it back on we're good so we're back can we make it interrupted again i hope so because we're in our back shop up in upstate new york but anyway what i was saying was one of our favorites not our favorite we never i always have to give this disclaimer at the beginning of every demonstration we have our four or five canister vacuums we have our four or five upright vacuums we have our four two or three specialty items like stick backs that kind of thing and we have our couple air purifiers that we particularly believe in but um, we are not here at VacuumRepairShop.com to pitch any particular products uh, to the consumer. We are here to tell the consumer that if you see something you like, if you're looking for a vacuum or service, that kind of thing, you should always go to VacuumRepairShop.com and find the local uh, vacuum. Find the local premium or verified member in your area. Remember, premium or verified member, they are the ones that have been trained. They're the ones that can take the best care of the customers. They usually have the best reviews and they know what's best for you. If you can't find a premium or verified member in your area, call us at 1-800-263-5425. 1-800-263-5425. So again, one of our favorites is the Sebo E3, in particular the Sebo E3 Onyx Premium, which cup, which has all kinds of different um, attachments, accessories, extended warranties, that kind of thing. For demonstration purposes, this is just a C, uh, an E3 Premium. It's not the Onyx, but I'm gonna show it to you as if it was with all the attachments. So um, I'm gonna start right off with the power head. And I'm gonna start off by telling you that every vacuum cleaner, no matter what type of vacuum you're looking to get, upright, canister, stick back, whatever, there's a few things you need to look at in a vacuum. And this is no exception. You, want to, you need to look at how well is it clean? How easy is it to use? How long is it gonna last? What's the filtration like? So those four things, okay? And then probably even as important as where you're gonna get it. And again, my thoughts are you should go to get your vacuum. You should, it's not something you should buy on Amazon or on the internet. You should go to the local vacuum store and you, you can be assured of getting the best price, the best deal, um, especially price-wise, everything's regulated now. So you're getting the same prices whether you go to the back shop or Amazon or, or online, whatever. So for that reason alone, you should go to the local vacuum store because they'll probably give you a few extras and maybe even a trade in. Make sure you visit your premium dealer. So this is the Sebo E3, okay? Cleans better, lasts longer, easier to use, better filtration and um, get it at your local back shop, but you can take a look at it here. It's always better to see the demonstration at the back shop because it'll, um, you can put your hands on, you can try it, see if it's right for you. So, on off switch right here, it's pretty quiet, right? I'll tell you why. So you can, I don't know if you can get a close up, you can see that the, the switch is on. So that tells you it's got power right there. And then in my hand here, you can, you can actually turn the machine on and off here and you can raise and lower the speed of the motor. Raise and lower the speed of the motor right here, okay? So, I'm going to start right from one end, which is the power head in this machine. Um, this is, Sebo has one of the, Sebo, Linhouse, uh, maybe Aeros, Electrolux, they have the best power heads on the market. Let me tell you what we like about the Sebo power head. First of all, it does have the L shape. So it's easy to get around the legs of the furniture. You know what we should do, Jared, before we do anything? We should take it, swing it over here and take a close up of me. We just had to clean out somebody's little stick back and they had a bunch of sawdust in there and I left some of it on the ground along with some pet hair so you can see how well this cleans. So let's get a close up of this right here. Let's get their attention first by showing them how well this cleans. Now this is a low nap carpet so you can see I mean that is deep cleaning and that is if you want to take a close look on the edge how close that's cleaning to the edge. I don't know if you can get a close up there Jerry but Right up to the edge, that machine is clean. That's got to be pretty impressive, I would think, right? So it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So, and I'm going to bring it right over to here too. I want to show you what happens. The machine has the L shape, 
power head. It's got the swivel. So if you want to go underneath things, you, it's very easy to go underneath things. It's got a very low profile. Now, because it has a low profile, if you want to go into the bed, you want to go under the sofa, that kind of thing, there's a possibility you may pick up something you shouldn't. So, and that happens with any vacuum cleaner. This machine has a circuit breaker, a very good circuit breaker that is gonna shut this power head off the minute it picks up something it shouldn't. So if you go into the bed, pick up a sock or shoelace or something like that, this is a common problem that people have. You don't really realize what's, what's under there. If mistakes happen, most machines you would break the belt or you might even damage the motor. With this one, it'll shut right off. You'll see here, I'll show you what happens. So again, I go into the bed, I pick up a sock or a shoelace, boom. As soon as that cloth or that shoelace, whatever, hits that brush, it starts to wrap around. Red light goes on, tells you there's something stuck in here. So, very easy to maintain. You see the red light's blinking, okay? Very easy to maintain this vacuum. It has a lifetime belt warranty. You will never break the belt on this vacuum. We are, the shop that I'm in right now in upstate New York is one of the top five SIBO dealers in the country. You have never replaced a belt on a SIBO. I'm not saying it couldn't happen, but the belt is guaranteed for life. You will never replace the, replace the belt. Now, what happens is it'll shut off, red light will go on, tell you there's something stuck in there. All you do, turn the machine off. Again, you can turn it off with your hand right here, you know. You look back at the machine, it still has power, but you can turn it off right here at your hand. Look at the bottom of the power head, see what's in there. In this case, we know what's in there. We're going to pop it out, and then because we turned it off, we turn it back on again. It automatically resets itself. Green light means go, okay? Now, this machine also has a height adjustment on it too. So no, literally, no matter what pile carpet you have, you, this machine, we, I like to call it a smart power nozzle. It'll actually tell you if you have it at the right height or not. So we have nothing but low pile in our, car, in our, in our showroom here. But if I turn this on and I raise it up all the way, when I raise it up all the way, this means I'm raising the brush up. When I raise the brush up, there's a possibility that I'm raising it up too high and it's not hitting the carpet, okay? So you can see the red light will go on in that case too. Tell, what it's basically telling me is, hey, you're wasting your time, John. I'm not hitting the surface. I'm not gonna be picking up the way I should. So you wanna lower it all the way down. In my case, I like to lower it all the way down because I like to see those V-shaped patterns in the rug and you probably do too, okay? You wanna, it, it shows me that I've done a good job by, by looking at those V-shaped patterns. So I'm gonna lower it down to one, but on the same, on the same note, the same token, if you had, the, if you had like a really thick, plush carpet and, it's, and t nowadays they make a soft carpet that if you lower it down too far the brush is going to bind up it would turn red in that case as well so it tells you if you have it too high or too low again not a huge deal but all the little things make a big difference so i'm going to lower this all the way down and i'm going to clean at one now it's not going to register it's too low here because i have low nap carpet this is aggravating me so i'm going to get rid of it okay so even a big pickup like that so now one of the other things we like about the SIBO powerhead is that it's very easy to maintain. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. You can see we got back TV, we have uh, vacuumrepairshop.com going in the background here. That, that video is a little too loud. Um, but one of the other things we like about is, is maintenance on the SIBOs. There's very little maintenance on these machines. But if there is one thing you should maintain, it's probably the brush roll on the carpet, right? We've all experienced hair wrapping around the brush or in a lot of cases the belt breaking or just wanting to replace the brush and most of the time it's kind of a pain in the neck but this machine it's very easy to clean this brush off it, i mean it's inevitable that if there's long hair if had hair it's going to wrap around the brush all you have to do with this machine if you want to clean this brush off or replace the brush you just press this right here this it has an end cap here the end cap comes off and the whole brush roll pops out and you're either cleaning it or replacing it and it's a German machine. The machine is 100% German made, 100% um, German engineered. And even though it's 100% German made, German engineered, the parts are not that expensive. One of the most common um, replacement parts for any vacuum is the brush, especially if you have a vacuum that's gonna last you 20 years. You know, you, every five, 10 years, you might wanna replace that brush. I, the last, I, the, I think these are $29. I know we're right in the middle of this, maybe a, maybe a little price increase, but it's very inexpensive to replace the brush on this machine. But the other thing about this machine is if you pick up something you shouldn't and it gets stuck in the machine, let's say a kid's toy, one of the pet's toys, Lego, something like that, or even maybe you pick up a screw or a paper clip or something gets jammed in, in the power head, you have access to that clog right here. 
There's a trap door on the bottom so you can get in there and clean this out. So again, very easy to maintain this machine. The whole idea is buy once, buy right. You have this machine for 20, 30 years. It, I always say it's just like mom's old Electrolux. Buy once, buy right, no headaches. As a matter of fact, most of the premium vac shops will give you some sort of tune-up plan on this. I know in our vac shops, in addition to vacuumrepairshop.com, we own a couple of vacuum stores, and we give, with the, with the SIBO Premium Onyx machine, we actually give a 10, 10 free tune-up plan. So once a year, you can bring it in. We clean it up, deodorize, disinfect the machine. You can be assured the machine's gonna last you a long time. So in addition to that, that's something we give you in addition to the warranty, but the warranty on this machine is 10 years motor, 10 year parts, excuse me, and seven year labor and lifetime on the belt. You're not gonna find a better warranty on any vacuum cleaner out there. That's one of the reasons we love this machine. Again, so we're not necessarily touting or pitching that you should have this machine. We're saying if you need a good canister vacuum, you should shop at your local vacuum shop and take a look at what they have and see if this one meets your needs. Um, the machine has a whole slew of attachments. First of all, everything comes on and off with just the push button right here, pop that off. Let's say, you, let's say you're vacuuming along and you want to dust maybe uh, a coffee table or an end table or a windowsill. Um, the dust brush is sitting right here for you. Okay, so most of the attachments are on board for you. You can pop that right off. And, you know, this is not a big deal, but all the little things make a big difference. This machine, the, the dust brush is nice and soft, so it's not going to scratch anything. It's horsehair. And it comes to a point. Why? Because... Our houses aren't round. Our houses have corners. So you want to get into the corner. So again, not a big deal, but you would wonder why other uh, manufacturers don't think to do the same thing. If I want to do the window sills, it would make sense to have one that comes to a point, right, that, that we can get in the corner. Uh, most dust brushes are round, okay? So this will be easier to get into the corners. Um, it's actually variable speed, like I was saying. So if you are dusting the coffee table or end table, you would obviously want maximum suction. But let's say you wanted to do like a lampshade uh, maybe you've got a dust, maybe you've got a plant that's got dust on it, or maybe you want to do the curtains or something, right? This machine has a lot of power. And if you have it up to maximum suction, well, you may, there's a possibility you pull the lampshade in, you pull the, you pull the, um, the drapes in, um, if, if, if you're doing, if you're dusting off a plant, you, but you don't want to pull the plant in. So you can actually take this, and you'll be able to hear it. It actually quiets that motor because we're reducing the speed. Again, now I've had people ask me, what, John, why, would I, why wouldn't I want maximum power? And you're right, 99% of the time you want maximum suction. But in the event you're cleaning those things, maybe delicate, something delicate, or you don't want to rip off the wall, you can reduce it to next to nothing, okay? So that's your dust brush. Um, let's say you want to get the cobwebs off the ceiling, then you can pop this off. Oh, you know what? Let's show the bare floor tool because it comes with two, the, the premium machine, this particular one comes with two, uh, two bare floor tools. So I have one on the back of the machine. So it comes with this nice, soft, traditional style bare floor tool, okay? But this being the, pre we're, we're talking about this as the premium onyx. This has actually, and we know nowadays a lot of people have area rugs over top of bare floor. So it would be a tile and grout, or maybe you've got hardwood floor that's got some cracks in it, that kind of thing. Um, linoleum, whatever the case might be, or maybe you got a nice marble floor or something like that. You've got two, um, two bare floor tools. You've got your basic, standard, traditional bare floor tool, which everything goes on with a click. And you can, with your, whatever one you choose, again, it rides right in the back of the machine. So when you're vacuuming along, and let's say you're doing an area rug over top of your hardwood floor, you can feel free to put the power head, the, the power head has nice soft rubber wheels non-marring, it's not gonna mark any of the floors, okay? But if you do have that tile and grout with a recessed grout line, or you've got hardwood floor that's got cracks in it, you may want to use one of the bare floor tools that will actually clean inside there, and depending on what kind of dirt you have too. Sure, if it's loose debris and it's heavy like pebbles, that kind of thing, the power nozzle will have no problem. But you may have, like if there's a dust or something there, you might wanna use one of the bare floor tools so you can actually um, kind of sweep the bare floor as you're doing it so everything comes on and off here and then we're popping again you can use the bare floor tool for the you can use the power nozzle for the bare floors but this will be a little more effective job okay and i love this uh i know another company calls it a parquet twister i don't know if SIBO actually has a name for it but it's very similar to another company's parquet twister mila is another vacuum that has this this wider bare floor tool with the pivots in it um so 
Here's the idea behind it. It has a couple different pivots. So if you have different angles, or if you want to get between the furniture legs, or you have some difficult areas to clean, I want to show them over here, Jared. So you're going to want to take a walk over here so I can show you on the bare floors. There's some dirt sprinkled down there. So you can, it, just, it has a, a number of pivots. So let's say, I got that, that, that's a really tough angle over there to get into. Great. It's not going to get everywhere, okay? But if I want to go in there, you wouldn't be able to do this with most bare floor tools. You would not be able to get in there and clean like that. You'd probably have to do, you'd probably have to take that tool off and just put a crevice tool in there to clean. But you can see, it, it picked everything up inside there. I had a bunch of the, bunch of dirt in there, okay? And it had no problem getting in there and cleaning it out, okay, because of those pivots. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. So that's your bare floor tool. Pretty impressive. And then again, back to our power head. Now on the back of this machine, telescopic wand too. So, you know, if you want to raise or lower that, you can. And the, the pop, even though it's a power head, and most machines nowadays don't have a cord outside, but there is, if, you're, if an old school machine would have a cord outside the wand, okay, the, wand, the cord is integrated into the wand. Okay, and again, everything on the SIBO has a 10-year warranty, 10-year parts, 10-year motor, and then seven-year labor. And again, from the from a premium vac shop, from one of our premier verified members, you would probably get some sort of tune-up plan. In our stores, we give 10 free tune-ups once a year for 10 years. Again, we want you to buy one, buy right, be happy, that kind of thing. It's got a, uh, on the back of the machine, you've got your crevice tool, okay, right there on board. And this is pretty cool right here, where they put this upholstery tool. So if, you want, if you're vacuuming along, you do want to do the upholstery, you can clean it, you have the upholstery tool on the back of the machine. This, this is another reason why you should visit the local back shop. This machine has a lot of power, but some of these tools actually create more airflow than more traditional tools. And that's one of the things I noticed with this E3. Uh, if you go to the back shop and you put this in your hand, it's crazy how much, how much more power you can feel with, with the design of this upholstery tool. So there's little subtleties, little things, little design things that would create more airflow, more suction, uh, the better the machine. So I'd like to say all the little things make the big difference. So you're, you, most of us take a lot of pride in our home. So we want a vacuum that's gonna, you know, no, number one, for appearance reasons, we wanna, you know, we wanna make sure the house looks good. Um, but we also want something that's gonna hold up. We want something that's gonna last. We also want something that actually is gonna be, um, healthy for the home. So this machine has very good filtration. Oh, before I talk about the filtration, I'm getting off track. You'll have to excuse me. I start talking about the vacuums. I get excited. I start talking fast. I'm going to slow it down. Okay. Because I skipped one feature. I was talking about airflow and how this creates more airflow. Even something simple like the design of this hose. First of all, it's a crush proof hose. Crush proof hose. It's not like uh, the wire reinforced hose that you used to see on a Kenmore. Um, actually, the rainbow still has it. The electrolux still has nothing. That doesn't make them a bad hose. Uh, but with this one, if you step on it, if you walk on it, if you drive a car over it, it will bounce back for you. And this one is tapered. So you might want to take a close up of this. So this, it's narrow here, but it gets wider. You can see how it gets wider, okay? So it, that costs a little more money to make, but the advantage is this. It creates a little more airflow up here because you're narrowing the, the, the opening, right? But ideally, you'd like to have a wide opening so it, would, so it wouldn't have clogs. So you kind of get the best with this machine. So kind of almost clog proof. I'm not saying it's never gonna happen, but with a cancer vacuum, there's a possibility you could pick up something you shouldn't have and it'll get stuck right up here, right? If, but this is, this is tapered, so if it gets through here, chances are it's gonna make it all the way into the back, okay? And speaking of the bag, this machine has what they call hospital grade filtration, and it has a HEPA style bag, okay? So it's very good filtration on this, on this machine. Um, about as good a filtration as you can get, all right? The, well, let's show you the bag. Inside here is the bag. You can actually close these bags so you don't make a mess. And it's, aside from being a great bag, this is important too. It's an easy bag change. Again, how well is the machine clean? How easy is it to use? How long is it going to last? 
and what's the filtration like? Those are the four things you should always be looking at in the vacuum, okay? So as far as a filtration, this is great filtration, but it's also very easy to change the bag. Some machines, it's a little bit difficult to change the bag, okay? So when you do take the bag out, you can close it so you're not getting dust all over the place when you carry it to the, to the garbage, okay? When you want to replace the bag, it's just like this. That sits right there. You close the door. Boom, bag, bag replaced. In addition to the, to the bag, the HEPA style bag, which is what most canisters now have, there's also a filter, pre-filter before the motor. Okay, so if any dirt and debris gets, somehow gets through this bag, it's collected in that filter. In addition to that, underneath the machine, the back of the machine, there's an exhaust filter, okay? So most machines have a pre-filter and an exhaust filter. So bag, pre-motor pre filter, exhaust filter, but this is totally unique to Sebo. This is a nice lightweight machine too. And this again, another reason why you wanna to get to the bag shop. So you can actually pick the machine up. You can actually use it and see how easy it is to use. But this, all the Sebos have this soft bumper around them, okay? Which is logical, but it serves two purposes. Number one, if you're dragging a canister behind you, there's a possibility you're gonna bump into some walls. Well, guess what? You're not gonna mark up the walls. You're also not gonna mark up the machine because it's got the soft bumper. And this soft bumper is also doubles as a filter. So you've got the filters we just talked about, and this machine distributes air evenly around this filter, so that will collect even more fine dust. So it is a clean air machine. Um, and of course, at vacuumrepairshop.com, we believe there's a couple different kinds of dirt. There's, there's the granular sand, grit, hair, that kind of thing, the stuff that the vacuum is responsible for. But there's also airborne dirt. Now, a lot of people buy the vacuum cleaner because they want, they, they buy a vacuum, or they look at vacuums that, to make sure they have good filters. And that's important, and this has great filtration. But keep in mind, it's only filtering what it's picking up. It's only filtering an hour a week, two hours a week. My suggestion is if you really want to take care of the second kind of dirt, which is the airborne dirt, you really should maybe look at some air purifiers. Now, at our particular shop, we carry the Aris air purifiers, and we call we carry Boneco air purifiers. Uh, we think between the two of them, we can find something that match, matches your needs. But again, visit your local back shop, because again, there's two different kinds of dirt. There's granular, sand, grit, hair. That's the stuff that's in the vacuum bag. That's the stuff that lands on surfaces, okay? That's heavy, that falls on surfaces, that you need a good vacuum to pick up, okay? It's the, it's the most common dirt. It's the one that makes you go to the back shop to begin with. It's the one that makes you think, Joe, just for the appearance of the house, just to save the wear and tear on the furniture, carpet, that kind of thing, you should have a good vacuum. But in addition to that, especially nowadays, as we're all living through COVID and everything, we realize that the outdoor air is a lot cleaner than the indoor air. So most vac shops will have a solution for the, indoor, for, for, the, for the airborne dirt as well. So the good vacuum for the sand, the grit, the hair, the heavy stuff that drops on surfaces, but you really should have a good air purifier. If you come into our vac shop, it smells nice and fresh. I mean, it's the, the, the air, it, you can't smell anything. It smells like the outdoors, okay? Um, it's because we have the proper humidity, we've got some fans moving air, and we've got our air purifiers that are constantly going. People constantly say, wow, it's, considering this is a back shop, it smells nice and fresh in here. I mean, all we do is bring in people's dirty vacuums and clean them and open them up and dump the bags in their containers. It's still nice and fresh in here. Our, our, we have a particle counter that actually reads, so there's very little particles in the air. So your, most of your vac shops can take care of, again, the right vacuum with the right bag uh, filtration system and then a filter system for the, uh, an air purifier system that takes care of the, the indoor air quality. So again, visit your local vac shop for that. We actually have some reports in our vac shops that we give people that, that suggest what's the best air purifiers for them. Anyway, so in addition to that, again, 10-year motor, 10-year parts, seven-year labor. I don't know that I really missed anything on the machine. It's a high-quality machine. Again, we're not at vacuumrepairshop.com pitching any particular machines. We're telling you, you should go to your local vac shop or you should call us and we'll ask you a series of questions to make sure you're getting the right machine. Or even if you just want to get your machine tuned up, you should visit your local vac shop. 
This machine being the premium model does come with extra attachments. So you get a couple of bare floor tools. You get an extension hose. So this is a nine foot extension hose. So if you want, let's say you want to leave this machine in the room, in the, in the center of the room, and you want to go around the perimeter of the room and clean. So you can attach this hose right here to the end of this hose. And so now I've got almost like a, like a central vacuum. So this is, this machine right here is a complete tool, a complete cleaning system to take care of everything in the house. You know, people buy a central vacuum so that they can get everything done. You can do the same with this. Let's say you want to go up the stairs. Um, and let's say you have carpet stairs. This machine, we all, you also get this turbo brush. Okay, for the pet hair, for the furniture, uh, for the carpeted stairs. This is included in the premium package. And again, most of your local back shops would, would probably um, even um, customize a package for you like we do. And our, you know, we would ask you a few questions to make sure you're getting, we can make substitutions. If you don't need this tool, we give you a better tool, whatever that might be. But if I wanted to go up the stairs, I could put this turbo head on this machine this machine will sit on its end like this, so if you want to, it can't sit on the stairs if you want to, okay? But you can, look, look at the reach I have, and I can take this turbo brush, and I, again, I can go around the perimeter of the room, and I can go up the stairs. So I'm gonna go all the way over here. That's not part of the demo, that's okay though. I'm gonna go over here, okay? And I can, without having to wheel the machine around, I can do this far away from the machine, Actually, keep cleaning my furniture. Let me turn that off so we can make sure you can hear. Because it's important. It's not just to keep the carpets and the floors clean. This is to clean the whole house. This is to eliminate the, all the granular dirt from the home, from your from your living environment. This is one of the best options out there. You should visit your back shop. I would say again, we have three or four machines that we're real big on in most back shops. This is one of them. Um, so again. I can walk away from the machine and I can do that. I can go up and down the stairs while I'm having to carry the, vac the vacuum up and down. So all this comes with it. This is your, what we call a turbo tool. And that's a, a an extra nine foot hose. You're getting two, you're getting your dust brush, crevice tool, extension hose, turbo brush, two bare floor tools. Here's the kicker. Here's the thing that usually puts people over the top, okay? You talk about being able to clean the whole house. You want to clean the dryer vent? You want to get in between the cushions on the couch? You want to get the seats of the car? In between the seats of the car, this extended crevice tool will do the trick for you. Okay, so you're getting pretty much the complete package. And again, from us at, uh, at our local shop, In addition to the SIBO warranty, we actually give you a 10 free tune-ups with us. Again, the, our whole philosophy, it might be a little different than the philosophy you're seeing at Target or Walmart or, or, or your big box store. Our idea is buy once, buy right. We want to establish a relationship with you. We want to make sure that you have the one vacuum. In my background, I, I sold Electrolux years, for years door to door. So I was used to selling a quality product. And when people bought it, they had it for you know, 20, 25 years, unless they wanted to trade up to the latest and greatest version. Um, so I, I always like to tell people this is like today's Electrolux, okay? Uh, this, is like, this is like mom's Electrolux. This is like today's version of, of grandma's old Electrolux, okay? Um, nice, high quality machine, cleans better, lasts longer, easier to use, better filtration. Um, and you're also getting a pack of bags from us as well, so. Um, and that's one of the things you're not going to get online. So the prices are the same no matter where you look. Most of your back shops will give you some sort of courtesy thing for your old vacuum. We will as well. And we give you a pack of bags and an extended warranty. Um, Jerry, did I miss anything? I don't believe so. I don't think I did either. You know what I didn't mention, which I should real quick? I'm, not, I'm just, as I'm doing this, I'm looking at the back of the machine. These machines have three caster wheels. Okay? Again, soft rubber, so they're not going to mark anything up. But... The idea is that, like a lot of machines you see, like um, like the Kenmore's, Panasonic's, they have these stationary, the, the wheels on the back are in one spot. They're, I guess stationary would be the word, right? So this 
The idea behind this is this machine actually goes back and forth, but it also goes side to side. So it is, you know, just a little thing, but all the little things make the big difference. So I would suggest, if you want to take a closer look at this machine or the other options available to you, the best bet is to give us a call, 1-800-263-5425, and we'll tell you where your local vac shop is, or just visit vacuumrepairshop.com. But make sure you go to a premium, verified member, and uh, we appreciate you tuning in. If we can do anything else for you, let us know.